Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today talking briefly about One Hive Genesis, what we're looking at in terms of league play for the next CWL season, as well as other clans in the family, uh, Alpha Trinity. What the uh, what the main uh, idea is, kind of where the clan family is at, and what that possibly means for recruiting. Uh, you guys know I I do um these types of videos every once in a while, and um, if if you're not interested in any of this, hopefully you at least enjoy the attacks in the background. Um, so I'll get to everything in just a minute. First, a quick announcement. Uh, it, I won't be uploading for just a little while probably because I have wisdom teeth surgery uh, coming up tomorrow. So um, I won't be able to talk really um, for a few days at least, uh, unless I'm doing a live attack uh, on hydrocodone or something. I there won't really be any videos, so um, don't have anything planned really to upload. Just thought I'd get that out there. But um, anyway, to kind of pick up where we left off, you guys may or may not have seen the the live stream of our semi-final matchup against uh, Dark Looters Z, kind of a heartbreaker. But really last season, season four of CWL, we put in a ton of work. Um, Genesis was in premiere the season before. Um, we were expected to be one of the worst clans in Invite, but we really uh, uh, proved a lot of people wrong by going so far, having a great regular season, and then going uh, pretty deep into the playoffs to the semifinals, just not quite able to convert at the end of that war. So I think the preparation speaks for itself. We had so many people putting in the hours, um, really spending a lot of time on it. So uh, you got to appreciate all of that, and we really do. Uh, so we've had some people leave the clan, as you often do after a uh, a run like that, after a tough season. Um, so we're we're kind of in the rebuilding phase to some extent. We still have a lot of people, you know, we have five clans in the family, still a lot of accounts, a lot of great players, and we still have a lot of our leadership. So really not like anything too big changing. Genesis is going to be in CWL invite again, it looks like. Um, nothing is confirmed as of yet, but um, planning on doing invite again which will, um, something I actually didn't know until recently, Invite is going to, of course, have some Town Hall 12s and also not likely to have any Town Hall 9s. Right now, uh, the minimum breakdown that um, is lo looking like is going to be the requirement is that clans have three Town Hall 12s, eight Town Hall 11s, and 24 Town Hall 10s, and there's no Town Hall 9s required. So maybe they'll be in it, but probably not, and if they are, a very small role not just for Invite, but also for Premier and some of the other leagues as well. Um, some of them are lower breakdowns, so you will still see quite a bit of Town Hall 9 action, but um, for the most part, at the top level, um, they're really phasing out Town Hall 9s. So that's something interesting. Town Hall 10 is going to not be the new Town Hall 9, but it's going to shift to the lowest Town Hall level we see in Wars. So that should make things very interesting. Also, 11s and 12s, kind of the play between them, where you have 11 v 12 attacks, will be straight across going for three stars. Who knows? These are still questions yet to be answered. But anyway, the point is, uh, One Hive Genesis staying in CWL invite. Uh, One Hive Alpha, I think they won the MLCW or something. I, I really wish I knew more about this, but um, the truth is I'm not I'm not in the uh, other clans as much, so I, I don't have as much information on them. But I know they... They're a league champion. I just forget the exact league they were in. It's not CWL, but one of the other competitive leagues, uh, which was awesome. Then getting the victory. And then um, I think they're looking at possibly joining CWL, one of the lower ones, such as Light, Highlight, Rising, Apex. There's a lot of them. Um, so we might have two clans in the uh, CWL system, one of those uh, five or actually six leagues. And then we have One Hive Trinity, which probably is going to do some type of league play. Not sure the details on that. I think they actually might be in a league right now. I I wish I knew more. Um, One Hive Trinity, though, they are also a very competitive clan. We have full-time members there. And I think Origins is even thinking about getting in the mix if they're not already. So the point is we have up to four clans possibly looking at league play. Um, so if you are interested in joining in some capacity, I know I say this a lot, but... It, especially now, would be a great time mainly looking at some of the top town hall levels. To, to give you guys the full uh, information, basically, um, 
because the breakdown is so much heavier with Town Hall 12s now and more Town Hall 11s than we had uh, at the end of CWL last season, also with some members leaving, we are not short, but we don't have as much depth at the top level, especially with Alpha also going to be competing. They're going to need uh, just a couple 12s and some 11s as well, even if they're in one of the lower leagues. So now's a great time, especially for 11s and 12s, but 10s also, to look to get into some league play. CWL, I believe, is starting um, the preliminary matches, kind of for seeding and stuff. You can call it like the preseason almost. Uh, that's all taking place, I think, around August to September. So we have a few weeks before um, we start to get into like the preliminary uh, wars. And then things really kick off, I think, towards the end of September and kind of go throughout the winter. Um, a lot of bye weeks with holidays and stuff. And I think the um, it actually stretches all the way to like February. So there's it's going to be a very long season um, with quite a few bye weeks. But the point is it actually kicks off not too long from now. There's not a huge break. Um, CWL is getting going within a month. And then the actual war is starting in uh, around September. So a couple months. Uh, so rosters are starting to be worked out. Clans, you know practicing, all that stuff. Really, there's no time off for some of these clans. Um, so if you are an 11, if you are a 12, and you are thinking about trying to join a top clan, uh, there's a lot of flexibility. We can um, give tryouts to members and get them into one of our CWL clans if they're, if they're fit for it. So just wanted to get that information out there. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say in that matter. If you are a Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8, probably not going to be in a CWL type system because we have the, um, Town Hall 9s already that are probably taking up all the space um, for the few Town Hall 9s that are going to be in league play. But uh, we have other opportunities, possibly in Origins, in some of our lower breakdown clans. So if you are a Town Hall 8 or a Town Hall 9, feel free to apply if you have been thinking about that as well. Um, but this is mainly a call to some of the top level players in terms of 11s and 12s mainly because um, we are looking to get some more depth there. But yeah, that pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Wish me luck tomorrow as I get my teeth ripped out. And I should be back within a week or so. Maybe I'll even do a live attack while I'm like tripping on pain meds. Who knows? But the point is... <laughs> Uh, check out our recruitment server. Link is in the description. It's through Discord if you're interested. And anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.